welcome. It's Sunday and today's video is a vlog. Um, I have the coolest shirt on right now. It's as uh as if from Clueless and I'm gonna link it below because I know that you guys need this shirt. I when I saw this on Etsy, I was so excited. I could not I could hardly contain my excitement because Clueless, like I don't know if you are around my age, Clueless is totally like our generation. So you have to get your as if shirt. Um, link in the description. Nick is constantly looking at new homes on his phone for us um, just in case we don't stay in the one that we're at. So I guess we're gonna go look at that and after that we're gonna go to Target and we're gonna get bins because I have to organize all of the baby clothes and all of the different sizes and that is what I need to be doing. We have way too much baby and toddler clothes and they need to be organized into the correct bins and the bins that I have for them are like overflowing with clothes so I need to get bigger ones um, because we still have one baby to go after this so we can't be throwing away baby and toddler clothes. You can throw it away because it's gonna be a boy. <laughs> it's gonna be four girls Nick I already know like at this point the odds of it being a boy are so low. They go down each time. Did you know that? With each baby of the same sex, you have the like percent chance of like having a boy. It just keeps going down and well, down and down. I'm gonna have to switch down. you out. It's not me. It's you. Update. We're back with our Starbucks. I've already drank my entire thing. I don't know how this doesn't make me jittery. Probably because I just ate Phantom bagels with it. But I never, I never used to drink this much coffee. But the cold brew is so good that it makes me drink the whole thing. We just looked at the house that Nick wanted to show me and I love this neighborhood and I love the house from the outside. But it's been on the market for a long time and it's not getting sold. By the time we're ready to buy, it'll be gone. You know that, right? It's been on the market for a year. They've been, it's high price. Oh, look at that. I feel like if we waited until the first of the year. It's like a long time. Well, I guess it's not that long. It feels like it's a long time. I love our house and I've been getting really attached to it. <clears throat> but I don't know if they decide to sell it, I don't know what they're gonna price it at. Oh. We'll see. Bought By the pin. time we wanna buy a house, it'll be the spring. It'll be towards the end of the, or it'll be at the, right at the beginning of the year. House prices are always low there. House prices are coming down in Austin. Going into election, everybody's very skittish on the economy. It would be the perfect time to buy. Did you get the lids? Um, are there no pink lids? It's fine if it's blue. Does that, does that back one have like, oh, this one like splits apart into different ones, which is perfect. Okay, don't throw that out though. Here. Put behind here. Put these bob bombs right there. Okay. We're good. <laughs> you guys are sweet. Yeah. Yeah, baby. If you need some makeup on her, you ask the makeup. You ask the baby makeup, then I will get some ma baby makeup. Oh, baby makeup? Yeah, put some baby makeup on you. Okay. You need some baby makeup, Reese? Do you need some baby makeup? Wow. We are home. The girls are playing with the slime that Skyla got. We've been home for a couple hours now. Um, they had Whataburger for lunch. I wasn't hungry. Nick has been watching football and I've just been trying to clean up. I actually got the kitchen cleaned up. The girls are in there. This whole area was like covered, the floor too, just with toys, everything. So it took me a while to get like dishes cleaned and things like that. But um, I'm about to do the living room because the living room is just as bad. But they're playing with this um, slime that we got today at Target. So I'm going to show you the slime project. I don't have a pot, Mommy. 
I know, because you have this. Oh. Did you make that yourself? I love it. You put glitter in there and sequins? Yeah. I love it, and there's beads. Yeah. Look, and there's stars. Yeah, there's stars. Cool. Let's see, what's Adeline doing? What's that? No. Sign? Sign? <laughs> Bear I don't know what my boo bear is. This is so shiny. I keep making them. Sorry, this is it. This is it. Is she eating? Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. She's so alert. Hi. Yeah, she just ate, but she's always hungry, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's hungry again. is putting the girls down right now and I'm sitting here with Reese. We just changed into PJs. You and your PJs? Those were Adeline's, or that was Adeline's sleeper um, when she was a newborn. It's so cute. You're so precious. And I've got about 30 minutes probably until the witching hour strikes and if you guys are unfamiliar with the witching hour, like if you don't have a baby, I mean a child, or um, if you had a baby that didn't have the witching hour, all three of mine have. Skyla's was like around 7 p.m. every night. I don't remember what time Adeline's was, but I feel like Adeline's was around 7 too. Um, but basically what it is, it's like an hour every night that it's very hard to soothe them. So like nursing doesn't really help. Um, Nothing that you do, like swaddling, um, all the things that normally will calm your baby down, there's like an hour long for some babies where they just can't be soothed. Um, I think Skyla started around six weeks old, and I think Adeline started around the same time, four to six weeks usually. Um, with Reese, like, we're kind of already there. Um, she's four weeks tomorrow. Um, and her witching hour has been only for the past, I feel like it's only been maybe, I feel like not even an entire week, but at least like four or five days now she's had it. Um, and basically you just do everything that you can, like nurse or bottle feed, whatever you're doing, swaddle, try the pacifier, rock, bounce them. Usually I have to stand up and like bounce her and, um, pat her back. And then I, last night when she had it, I did skin to skin. It didn't really seem to make a big difference, um, but that's what I tried last night. Um, and she's on the Gerber Soothe probiotic drops. Um, she hasn't had, I haven't given her any colic water yet, or what is it called? Gripe water, not colic water. Um, I did give some to Adeline, and it seemed to help with Adeline. I, Skyla never got any, though, but it did help with Adeline. We haven't tried that yet. 
because um, it doesn't last like that long with Reese, but she definitely has it. Um, so I've got about 30 minutes before that strikes tonight. But once it starts, it's um, it's like nonstop, like you uh, are just trying different ways to calm them down. Um, but with Reese, the one thing that I know that will keep her calm is if I stand up and like sway side to side. Um, but it's kind of hard for an entire hour to do that. So it's just like switching positions and teamwork with Nick. Like we hand her back and forth and take turns until she's finally ready to go to sleep. But hers, it, hers normally starts around nine, sometimes 9.30 or sometimes when I'm really lucky, Nick and I usually fall asleep around 10 p.m. And sometimes it happens like right as we're about to close our eyes. Um, which for Nick, he just goes to sleep. But for me, uh, are you talking to us? Are you talking to us? Zell's here too. Are you talking to us? Do you have something to say? Can you grab the, um, the Gerber Soothe and the vitamin D? Yeah, where's that? On my... Sink. Huh? On my sink. Where? On my sink. On your what? My sink. Countertop. Tonight, there was actually no witching hour, so the fussiness only lasted maybe 15 minutes max. Normally, it lasts over an hour, and tonight it didn't at all. It was super easy to get her to fall asleep, so I'm about to move her over to the bassinet and get ready for bed. Um, we just watched an episode of a show that we've been watching that's hilarious. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.